Question number seven. Flexion of the PIP joint and hyperextension of DIP joint causes, and the options are these. Now, out of these options, option A, B, and C are typical rheumatoid arthritis hand deformity presentation. It's a similar question that was asked in Jamia paper, question number 89. There they wanted to know about the RA hand deformity, and here they are giving you the clinical feature and asking you about the correct answer. Here, I will just point out every deformity on the basis of their clinical feature. Click on the I button to watch the Jamia question similar to this. The first figure you can see it is called mallet finger. That is the flexion of distal interphalangeal joint. Second is in this picture, you can see both boutonniere deformity and swan neck deformity. First is the boutonniere deformity, which is the flexion of the PIP and hyperextension of the DIP. This is the DIP joint. It is hyperextended. This is the PIP joint. It is flexed. The third deformity is the swan neck deformity. In this deformity, you can see it is just the opposite of boutonniere deformity, which is hyperextension of the PIP joint and flexion of the DIP joint. Now, other than these three options, there is also an option which is trigger finger. It is mainly due to a painful snapping phenomena that occurs as the finger flexor tendons suddenly pull through a tight A1 pulley portion of the flexor C. So to answer question number seven, it is option B, that is boutonniere deformity. Here, I just want to say, study previous year papers thoroughly. Try to understand the concept rather than mugging up a lot of MCQs. It will help you.